Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and today I'm going to be talking about a Microtech SOCOM Alpha Mini um, and my first impressions of owning it, okay? Uh, this is not a long-term review. I'll do that in a couple of years after I've actually used it and I guess you could call it abused it, but I don't abuse my knife, I just use them. But some people call using your knife abusing them. Anyways, um, as you guys know that I bought this knife with my own money. This is not a loaner. This is not as a sponsor by Microtech. And I'm giving you a review, no fluff, okay? No fluff. I'm not sugarcoating it exactly the way it is. Now, this is a beautiful knife. I bought a couple of Microtech Ultratech. I bought three of them. I spent a thousand bucks and I wasn't happy with them. And this, this should be a link above of an honest long-term review about that. So if you own a Microtech, or you're thinking about buying an Ultratech, you want to check that out before you buy it. But I told myself I'm not going to ever buy any more Microtech, but I decided to buy me a fixed blade Microtech, which is this one. And, and I was really, truly in love with it. You know, it's, it's a very, very nice knife, okay? Um, it's an amazing knife. Again, this is not a long-term review. This, this is, you know, I've been having this knife for maybe about two or three weeks, you know, so I can give you a review. One of the greatest things about this is that it, it, it rides really nice, guys. I mean, with the, sh with the sheath, I carry it every day. This is my everyday carry. It rides really good. It doesn't poke me in the, in the wrist. It has a short, short handle, okay? I love, you know, the size of this blade, guys. You know, I, I don't like, like, small, thin blades. Let, let me show you one, like, um, this is a Benchmade Bell out, and you can see the size of this blade. I mean, it just overtakes it, right? Um, so I don't like like little skinny blades. I like real thick blades. And you know, this is the reason that I bought this knife. Um, now, beautiful blade, very good steel. Um, you know, not top of the line, but it's a XHP steel. Um, the, the only thing I didn't like about this knife is that this little handle, because whenever you grab it, this little edges right here just literally dig into your freaking finger, right? I mean, like digs into your finger, and I don't really like that, right? But one way that I was able to solve that is, you know, I, I could have used sandpaper, but I didn't want to. I just used my nails, and I just went back and forth with my nails, and it did soften it up. You can see, like, there, I'm losing some nails right there, but it, at the same time, I'm rubbing off that little sharp point of the knife and after I did that it became so much better so much better because when I first got it it was just like every time I grabbed it it was a pain in the butt man I even thought about even almost returning it but I was like let me just do this and now after I did that and I'm every day I kind of like rub with my hands and try to get it a little duller it's starting to become pretty good besides that I have no complaints guys this is an amazing knife I love the blade style I love the design it's so like chic it's so uh sexy Right? It's like sexy, and, and I like that it's really big, right? But it's also small. It's big and small at the same time, right? And beautiful, you know, sheet. I mean, like, it's gorgeous, right? And again, it carries really good. It has this little locking me mechanism so it doesn't fall out. You put it in here, click it here, it locks. Again, it rides amazing on my body. Uh, I love everything about this knife. I like the way it it looks I like the way it fits in my hand it, it you know I have a medium sized hand right and it fits my hand perfectly there is a little extra now if you have an extra large hand you may not like this knife it, it may not work for you okay but for me I have a medium sized hand and it works perfectly for me the only negative part was this little part and I told you what I just did to make it a lot better uh, I even thought about sending it to Microtech and having them a little sand it off. I thought, you know what, let me just do it myself with my fingernails. And, and believe it or not, <laughs> using the little fingernails and going back and forth has made this little Sharpie part a lot duller so it doesn't cut into my hand or a hot spot. Overall, I've been pretty happy with this knife. Again, I've only had it for two or three weeks. It's not a long-term review, but I'll do one of these in four or five years after I've actually used it. And some people may call it abusing it, but I've actually used it. Now, I bought this knife for everyday carry. I'm going to use it every freaking day or, you know, put it in my knife rotation. Uh, beautiful knife. I'm super happy with it. Because I was happy with this knife, I went and I, and I bought the Halo 6. Because, as you guys know, I wasn't too happy with my uh, Microtech Ultratech. I bought three of them, spent a thousand bucks. Two of them freaking broke. 
Uh, one of them broke in like seven or nine days. The other one broke, you know, a couple of months down the road. Um, so I wasn't happy with them. And I told myself, I'm never gonna buy your Microtech again because how much you pay for it. For example, I paid 750 bucks for this one. I paid $270 for this one. So they're not cheap. And I don't have a problem with paying stuff that, that were good, you know? I, I like buying stuff that are expensive, that are high quality. I don't wanna buy something that's expensive just because of the hype, just because of the branding, right? And, and the quality is shitty, right? That's what I don't want, you know? I go out of my way and I buy a lot of stuff that's made in America because I believe they're a good quality, like Benchmade, like, you know, Keen's Shoes, like uh, so many other, you know, companies out there. But I wasn't happy with my Ultratech and there should be a video link you can see an honest review. Um, but since after I bought this uh, fixed blade, I was very in love with it. I thought everything was cool and, and I was willing to risk a thousand, almost a thousand bucks to 750 bucks to buy the Halo, which is pretty amazing, guys. Boom, right there. And let's do a quick comparison of a fixed blade. Uh, and, and you can see that the blade on these are very, very similar, right? I mean, they're almost the same size, even though this is a little tad bigger. The width of this thing is giant. I wish the, the Halo had the same width as this little guy right here. But overall, I mean, you don't have, you have so much real estate here, right? You have so much real estate right here where you don't have it here. But you know, they're both amazing knife. This is a knife that, you know, I wouldn't mind, you know, using and abusing. This is a knife that I'm just gonna use. And again, when I say abuse, you know, I'm talking about everyday stuff like cutting into a watermelon. I'm probably not gonna use this knife to cut into a watermelon, skin a mango, or, you know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But, you know, the problem was I, I did that with my Ultra Tag and, and, and they broke, right? They, they, they weren't firing, you know, the spring broke and so on and so on. And, and so I may not do this with this knife because, you know, I already know what's gonna happen. So this might be just like my everyday carry self-defense. Um, but I hate just buying a knife for just that. So I'll probably put it into use of cutting and keep you guys an update because I like to keep it at no fluff. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share this message, and let me know below what are you carrying? What is your EDC knife of the day, guys? Much love, peace.